Good afternoon, everybody. Matt M. Roy here. Today I want to discuss my PowerBook G4. I picked this up from a neighbor the other day for $80. He told me he had tried installing Leopard on it several times and the install would never take. So I thought I'd give it a shot for $80. I got it home and I initially tried to install Leopard the same way he did with no success. Um, after several more attempts, I realized that there must be a problem with the hard drive. So I went and picked up from Best Buy a 160 gigabyte PATA, parallel ATA hard drive, and installed it myself the other day. And as you can see, everything seems to work just fine. I've had this working for about two days now. And it is Leopard, has all the updates done to it. And I will tell you one thing, this was very hard to take apart. There are several screws, especially the two up here that use torque. It's a Phillips 1 and 1 16th that is very hard to get out. Even when you have the right screwdriver, they can strip very easily. And as you can see, this one is already kind of stripped. Now let me go over some of the features of this power book for you. It is the last model they ever made. It is a 1.6 7 gigahertz power PC G4 and it has one gigabyte of DDR RAM. I do plan on upgrading this to the full two gigabytes uh, in the near future. The original hard drive in it was a 160 gigabyte Seagate parallel ATA. And again, I did replace that with a 160 gigabyte Western Digital parallel ATA. So you can see this laptop has definitely been well used. Main problem being the latch does no longer work. I've looked at some fixes online for this and nothing so far has worked properly. I'm thinking the easiest thing to do might just be to get a magnet and hook it up here so it'll at least stay shut. Now let me go over some of the ports on this fine system for you. We have PCM CIA card slot. I believe it's the first version. Headphone microphone jack. One USB port and 56K modem believe it's V.90. On the other side we have Kensington lock port, another USB port, Firewire 400 and 800, our Ethernet port, S-Video, and a DVI out. Now I do plan, uh, other than upgrading this, I do plan on buying a new battery for this system. Uh, the battery currently in the system does not hold a charge, but for about five minutes. Um, if, I do have one problem I'm still having with the system. Uh, it has to do with the light sensor. When the lights go down late at night, the keyboard is supposed to light up, and the monitor is supposed to dim a little bit. Well, what's been happening lately is the keyboard will light up, but the monitor goes so dim that you can barely see anything, and I've been having to manually up the brightness using the function key. Uh, if anybody knows a fix for that, please let me know. Uh, I will be doing some more videos about this in the near future uh, once I replace the battery and uh, hopefully do the other RAM upgrade. I'll show you how that's done. And oh, the one last thing, it does have the slot loading super drive. It is an 8x DVD burner and I believe it is also an 8x DVD reader. And I will be doing some more videos in the near future. So if anybody has any questions for me, please leave a message. Thank you.